Okay. Hello, welcome. I'm Dana. This is Tools and Tips to Owning Your Worth. And today's topic is the fear of failure. How to get rid of that. Uh, before we begin our little discussion, I would like to take time to thank all of my subscribers. Thank you. I appreciate you so very, 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 very much. I um, am so grateful to the comments and the suggestions and requests for different topics that I've been getting and just your feedback in general. It's been really awesome. Please, please, please continue to comment. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope that what we talk about today resonates and that you uh, like the episode. If you do, please hit the like button or the subscribe button. And to all of you in YouTube land, please share. If you hear this topic and think, hmm, so-and-so should really listen to this lady, please share it because <laughs> that's the purpose of doing the channel. I have learned all this stuff in my years on this planet and I want to share it because why keep it all to myself? Huh? So if you're a failure, for instance, this is a tough one. I said in my last episode that um, I talk about these things and I try to make them light and, you know, make the discussions kind of funny, but I do understand that the things that I bring up for the most part, are hard and heavy. and But I just, I really am going to encourage you to pick a few of these things and just try to in, in, incorporate them into your daily life. Because I use all of the things that I share with you and I'm here to tell you, it just makes everyday life easier. Because life is hard sometimes, really hard. And when we have tools in our toolbox, to, to um, pick from to help us out, it really does come in handy. And one of the biggest ones for me personally has been struggling with, um, against the lie about failing. I don't like the word at all, first of all. And second of all, the meaning is um, just false. You know, if you think back, all of you, to your life, I don't care how old you are, even if you're 10, I bet you that you can name times when you felt really low, like, like you failed, you know, you didn't do something as well as you would have preferred that you had finished it or done it or had, had it turn out differently. But because of that directly linked to that, there are additional growth opportunities and successes that you have now, today, in 2022, that you would not have had if you hadn't have failed at the thing you failed at. And that is the tool I want to kind of flesh out for you today and have you think about. So I, a little bit more interactive today, if you will, please grab a piece of scratch paper or, you know, whatever you got handy. Even you can type on your phone. But this is more than just a thinking. I would prefer that you write it down. You do whatever you want, but I was just saying it would be healthy to throw it down. And then what I'd like you to do is think of a time when you felt like a failure. Okay? Write it down you know, and I'm going to um, think of one and I will share that with you. I, math, just in general, I was trying to go through my head and pick like one math thing, but there's so many. There's when I was a senior in high school and I took what was called advanced math and it was not cool. And then there was when I was in college and I took a statistics course and I have never, ever, ever, ever worked so hard in all my life in a class. And I've never, ever, ever been as happy with a C as I was at the, at the end of that semester. Um, but all my life, I was tagged with the, I would tell people, oh, I'm just terrible at math. I'm terrible at math. I'm not, first of all, 
total overgeneralization. No, I'm not. Second of all, what am I doing? Like every time somebody brings up math as a subject, I'm like chipping away at my self-esteem and my worth. Like really, just because I can't do like, you know, physics equations and and, um, calculus, I'm somehow, my worth is damaged silly, silly, which is what I'd like you to do with whatever it is you wrote down. So please look at whatever you wrote down and I would like you to number one, dispel it with facts because I'm here to tell every single one of you, I don't know what you wrote down, but I know that whatever you wrote down, it wasn't a failure. It wasn't. It was just a doorway to learning, period. You know, there's a great um, kids movie called Meet the Robinsons, and one of my favorite lines in that movie is um, when this little boy fails miserably at creating a gun that makes peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, like you squirt, he just squirts it out both sides of the gun and it's supposed to go on the paper with even amount, or uh, on the bread with even amounts and it blows up and it's a horrible mess. And his family just celebrates and cheers and they have a party. And the reason is because from failure, you learn from success, not so much. That's the line. And I literally was watching a kid's movie with my young, young children when it was almost as if an angel just went and smacked me on the front of the forehead. And that is the day after I started crying a little bit because I was like, wow, I've been living my life from the wrong side of the tracks energetically. That is the day I decided to see it that way. So that's why I'm sharing this tip with you, this tool. It reinvents your life. If you honestly start to see that when things don't go your way, it is an opportunity for you to learn. It's an opportunity for you to grow, for you to expand, for you to ask for help, whatever it is. It's this beautiful gift. Um, my, my guides, which I talked about more at the beginning of this YouTube channel than I have currently, but my guides have a fabulous, fabulous saying that they use with me a lot. And so I'm just going to share it. Even if, you know, if if you're not into the term guides, then maybe it's my angels, whatever. But my energetic beings that help and love me and support me every day will often say to me, this is a gift wrapped in sandpaper. which is an endearing term that I don't really enjoy, but I completely understand where they're coming from because that's what failure is. It's a gift wrapped in sandpaper. Do you like the packaging? Hell no. But if you can get through it, if you can get through it and not beat yourself up and not let your ego take over and dissect whatever is sitting in front of you on that piece of paper, and see where you've come at beyond that, beyond that day that you wrote about, you're gonna see that your life is so much better off. And so we we have to flip it and, and rather than being fearful of our failures, it's time to choose to be grateful for them because they just give us all sorts of room to, to become different, to become higher vibrational people living in a higher vibrational world. So thank you so much for hanging in with me. I hope that this resonates with you and I appreciate each and every one of you. And I am grateful for all of you for sticking with me from like, I should link, I will link the very first one of these episodes versus this one. And uh, yeah, there you go. Growth, right? Yay! Until next time, namaste.